Okay, I've been given this shop rider scooter for repair. Small boot scooter. Um, customer keeps it in the shed. It's kept in the shed for donkeys. So he's asked us to call out and fit a set of batteries. So yes, went out on site. Batteries were three volts. Yeah, no problem. Put a new set of batteries. Switch ignition on. Right, that's audible tone telling us when we're in the manual. So let's switch it off again. Put it in drive. That should be us in drive now. Switch it in and ready to drive forward. So this is what happens when I drive, drive, try to drive it forward. Nothing. Okay, try to drive back. Now, see, it's, it again is, it's not trying to drive back, but the brake's not released neither. So now that I've dismantled, take, took the brake off and found out the scooter wants to go in reverse, but it, it ain't going in reverse. I thought it was electric brake not coming off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply voltage. Yeah, that's your motor connection, that's your electric brake connections. So I've got a wee homemade device here, which just applies, you know, power. There's a battery pack here. Plug that in the battery pack. That will give me 24 volts. So if I plug that on here, there's a the motor. There's a the motor spinning away. So I know the motor's working. 24 volts. The brakes locked on. Click, and the brake moves. So I know the brakes working. I know the motor's working. I know when I press the wig wag lever at the top that it's sending a signal to the electric brake but not to the motor. So what most likely is wrong is is a main control box underneath the scooter floor panel, which to be honest isn't easy to get to. What we're going to do is we're going to dismantle on the side of the floor panel and have a look at the control box. Now to gain access to the main control box which is located underneath the floor pan, you need to remove the floor pan itself. So you've got a screw there, a screw here, and then what you need to do is uplift. Let's see. A screw there, a screw here. So that's four screws here. So we removed all the shrouds by the side ones. Proceed to undo the four screws to hold the floor pan on. Some of them have extra floor pans, the bigger scooters underneath the floor. Some of them have uh, extra floor pans underneath here. There are four screws underneath the floor pan. That's the let's just gain access. Just about and no more. Let's put that up. To the control box, which is here. I hope you can see that. There we go. So, faulty. Now, so what we're going to do, I'm going to try another control box. Now, you can't just take any off the internet and buy them. They've got to be programmed. Just because it says AC240 doesn't mean it'll actually physically work with that, okay? Because some of them have got delta handlebars, therefore you, you squeeze it with your fingers to go forward, Well, this one is the other way around about. This one does not have a dental handlebar, so we need to put the, the right control box on. Now, let me just go and get one. Right here, I've got another control box I know which is working. I'll do this side in here. Join the motor up. The 
front tiller controls and now the power input Right, battery on, let's switch it off, put it in drive, so now that I've put everything together, put it in drive, replace the control box, switch it on, and it's working. So sadly to say, expensive one, control box either needs to be repaired, we can get them repaired, that's no problem, you can send them to us. Or the customer decides to buy a new one when he gets a year's warranty with us. So hopefully that was informative to you. If you'd like to like and subscribe, that would be great. And any questions you may have, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.